At the signal of green light on the Asqua Aloga Junction dual carriage road, cattle attempting to cross the highway disrupt flow of traffic. The challenge is not restricted to this area. At Top High near KNUST Junction, one side of the road is occasionally taken over by some cattle who use the little green area as graze field. Mostly, the animals have little supervision. Ashanti Regional Minister Simon Osemensa explains how resources spent to green the city of Kumase continue to go down the drain. Unfortunately, most of it we are, we are disturbed by cattle. You know, when you plant the trees, they will go in and destroy everything. Uh, all the trees that we planted, that's royal palm trees we planted last year, almost all of them are destroyed. This time, we are going to take stringent action against the owners of the cattle. In 2023, 2.5 million cities was given to the Green in Ghana initiative, an amount the Ministry of Lands and Natural Resources found inadequate. You know, it's not easy to maybe catch a cattle. It's extremely difficult. So we are going to get some of those people who are good at it to do the work for us. We are going to engage them, we will pay them, and that, that will be their responsibility to ensure that the trees that we plant will not be consumed by or destroyed by the cattle. We will pay them during the period that is for a whole year, and if it's possible to have adequate resources to sustain, then we sustain them the following year too. As efforts are being made to deal with the impediments, the Office of the Inshesu Member of Parliament has instituted a climate change club to help plant more trees in the area. The club will ensure planting and development of trees in the medias and open spaces in the community. Member of Parliament, Dr. Stephen Amwa, explains aside from seeking the active involvement of constituents, laws will be enforced. We have our coordinators, we have assemblymen, we have integrated them into the process. Apart from that, we are going to put very strong measures in place to deter those who want to put up antisocial behaviors in getting these things destroyed. We know it's going to be very tough because of the behavioral pattern of the people and the structures along the roads. But I can assure you, I'm a strong person. They know what I can do. I have a lot of people supporting me. And one of the tactics or strategies is to involve key stakeholders such as the chiefs, such as the assemblymen as I earlier mentioned, such as the regional minister, such as the KMA boss, and even the security agencies. A field assessment report of the Ministry of Lands and Natural Resources shows an average of 72% survival rate of trees grown in 2022 as part of the Green Ghana Day as compared to the 81% survival rate in 2021. The drop is attributed to many factors, but the Inshesu constituency's greening project has factored in all the challenges to increase survival rate. For Joy News, Nanaya Ojima, Kumasi.